But the truth is, is that a, a real king, as Charles Barkley and a lot of other people pointed out, wouldn't start leaning on people at age 25. This guy is already piggyback, piggybacking on Wade and Bosch, and, and it would have been much more of an accomplishment, I think, to build a team around him himself. That's what Cleveland tried the first time around. It didn't go well. They tried it in Chicago with Jordan. He was seven years with an absolute stack of nobodies playing around him. And yet, by either by forcing management into trades, by forcing uh, taking less money at different times in contracts, he freed up the cap space to get enough ball players around him to win. That's what James didn't want to do. I, I think it reveals, I wouldn't say a character flaw, because if, if anything, LeBron's problem in my mind is that he's just too nice. He doesn't have the mean streak that all the great, great, great ones have. You know, the, the part of LeBron's problem is this. I think he's so determined to please almost everybody uh, yeah, that that when people said you have to win that became his number one priority it didn't really uh, that's a worthy goal except that you shouldn't take necessarily the quickest route to it you take the route that, that maybe gets you the most admiration by going to Miami he went fast if he'd stayed in Cleveland it would have been long and hard but I think the point is it would have been sweeter I think Gilbert said what was on the tongue of just about everybody within about a 500-mile radius of Cleveland. I, I think that those people can't help but be disappointed. You know, it's always harder when one of your own, and maybe the best athlete most of them will ever see, tells you even he doesn't want to be there. Gilbert's reaction was visceral, it was bitter, it didn't do him a lot of good. The part about guaranteeing a championship before LeBron wins one is, is just off the wall. I don't know where it came from. And yet, I think on every level, people understand that feeling. You, there is, he called it a cowardly betrayal. It's a betrayal for sure. I'm not sure cowardly fits, but it's definitely the easier way out. And, and for that, I think a lot of people are going to be resentful for a long time.